Alright, hello everybody, it's Tom from Fish Feed TV, and today I know I'm a little late to the party, but I'm going to do my rotten reel arsenal for 2015. I don't think I'll be adding much uh, anymore, because I, I think I've got enough rods, I'm not, I'm not like one of those people who need 17 different rods, I, this is what I need, and if I need more, I'll just borrow a trace. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're going to start off over here. Um, here I have um, an, el an Elite X from Gander Mountain um, paired up with a Den with the with the Denali J2 series. Uh, this is a worm and jig rod. It's more for offshore, but I, I use it a lot for docks just because it, it handles that real well. Um, I can skip, and it's got a lot of sensitivity. I've detected strikes on slack line with this, so um, I I like the setup. I've got 20 pound line on here. Uh, I mean it's green, not ideal, but my dad kind of bird nested this, so I had to get a new line. Okay, and next I have my spinner reel for cranking. This this is kind of something I'll use for pond fishing too. It's not just it's not just something I'll use um, for cranking, but in tournaments that that's the situation I'll use it. it. Has a lot of backbone, but the top very springy, so it's pretty ideal for anything. It's the D Shock, the Daiwa D Shock, paired up with the Dio Regal 2000 XIA. Um, spool's a little small, but that's okay. I'm not planning on casting anything too far, so. Um, one thing I would be careful with with this is this right here, this knob, does fall off, so you want to make sure that that's tight always. I almost lost that during a tournament. Um, I've caught I've caught more fish off of this than any of these, and it's my cheapest one. Um, you know, if you want to get the setup with the Daiwa D-Shock and the reel that comes with it, it it's great reel and all of that for a while. Uh, it doesn't last too long. The uh, spring came off for me, but in inside, so it wouldn't flip back. I still really liked it. Um, I, I kept the rod. I got a new reel. You know, this this just my all around type thing. I like it a lot. I've got it paired up with some eight pound line uh, from. I think it's from Seeger. So, yeah. Here's my most recent rod. Um, this I've been using for jerk bait fishing. Uh, I'll be using it for top water stuff like that. Um, it is the Bionic Plus from Bass Pro Shops, right there. Um, of course, like most these days, this comes off if I remember how to do it. You know, you got to oh, twist that way, and it comes off. You know, I haven't done this a lot, but it probably comes off with a lot more ease if you're if you do it a lot. There you go. There's your centrifugal uh, braking system. Everything you need. There's the whole thing to change the weight of the lure, uh, depending on the lure with the thing you're casting. I like this one a lot. I haven't messed around with the braking system too much. I keep two out and two in, um, just because I think that's the most effective way does have a little bit of boat rush, but that's okay. Um, I've got it paired up with a Ducket Ghost, uh, six, 6 feet 8 inches. It is my shortest rod, uh, shortest bait caster, um, but it, it works real well. It's medium heavy, so it does have a nice tip. It's got a fast tip. Uh, that's why I'll use it for, uh, you know. Um, next is my... Uh, second uh, spinner reel. This one's strictly for bass fishing. <coughs> I've caught my second personal best off of this one. Um, um, it's the loose speed spin, which I do not advise. I don't. I don't like this reel. It scratches and comes off really easy. Um, but I've got it on the best rod you can get for fifty dollars or under a hundred dollars, which is the Daiwa Art series. It's fifty dollars and it's just about as Sensitive as a rod that's hundred fifty dollars. Not that I fished with one that's hundred fifty dollars, but it's it's really good. It's really good. I really like it. Um, this is definitely my favorite. 
It's been real. Uh, I really like these rods because they're cheap and they work. Uh, they're durable, they got a really modern hand design, it's very sensitive. Uh, so yeah. And then here comes my first bait caster, which actually holds my personal best. Uh, rigged up on another medium heavy um, Daiwa Art series uh, with the Daiwa Laguna. Um, this rod is, I mean, this reel, the great beginner reel. It it barely bait cat, it barely backlashes at all, which which I really like about this thing. I mean, it's not that I backlash too much anymore, but when I started out, this this really definitely helped me learn. Um, you know, it's it it works real well. It's got dual stoppers, uh, infinite um, anti reverse. And it's it's got that clicker and every everything you need, everything in a bait caster, but for forty bucks. And here comes, oh, this is my latest addition, is my cranking rod. Um, it's got a Black Max on here. I got the Black Max for twenty bucks from my brother, so I I thought why not? Let's just get a cranking reel. Um, so I got that, and here um, I've I put it up with a. Gander Mountain Vortex, and all all it is is a twenty dollar rod. Um, it's medium heavy, but it's got such a nice tip that you know it bends in half anyway. So it's, it's not like this. It's a lot cheaper, uh, but it still casts real well. And for the deals that I got on this setup, because Black Max is forty dollars, got it for twenty. Um, really good setup, uh, and that's it. I'll be going over bait and stuff like that another time. Um, we do now have an Instagram called Fish Feed TV. Uh, just be sure to follow us and check us out on there. Um, thanks and good luck fishing. Tight lines.